Best Way Up, I'm here. Mano's here. New Mano! Ken the Man is here They know. <laughs> All right, let's get into some Yeetis. So, Diddy's mom has been hospitalized. Janice Combs, she's 84 years old. They, they said she was having chest pains. And a source told NBC News that she's still at the hospital. She hasn't been discharged yet. They're keeping her for observation. And... They ran a number of tests. The diagnosis is still unknown, but they do think that stress is a factor and that everything that's been going on, going on with Diddy's legal troubles is what's causing this uh, to happen. So you can imagine what that must feel like. And I will say on social media, people were very unsympathetic in the comments. It feels like now another person, uh, Misa Hilton, his ex, you know, that is Justin's mother, is planning to do her own memoir. And she did a post talking about being pregnant with their son, Justin Combs, when she was 19 years old and what that time period was like. She said Puffy just got fired from Uptown Records. Dre said there cannot be two kings in a castle. He was right. It comes a time. Puffy was scared. He had a child on the way and we just moved into a big, beautiful new home. He had me call Dre and ask for his job back several times and Dre stood on business so she just was talking about her time period at the label that's tough though because she has her own story to tell and um well, that's Kendall a legendary man. story though yeah to see what puff did created bad bad boy and then wind up hiring andre late on mm-hmm. uh can the man are you familiar with who misa hilton is For people? so that was diddy's ex right and she was actually in one of the first uh biggie videos as well but uh, she is a stylist, and so to this day, she still styles like she. And she was really good friends with Little Kim, with Mary J. Blige, mm. but she also is an amazing stylist. So she's really, really known for that too. Mm. Just a FYI. All right, now Danielle Smith also wrote an article, and this article was about her relationship and talking about her recollection of Diddy. Now Danielle Smith is a journalist in her own right, and she used to be the editor editor in chief of Vibe, Vibe. Magazine, yeah. but she's also Elliot Wilson wife, right. um, another journalist, and she talks about the time when they were doing a cover of Diddy for the December 1997, January 1998 double issue, and they wanted him to wear white feathered wings. Now, he ended up wanting to see what the magazine pictures would look like, but magazines don't do that. They don't show you what the picture looks like, and he called her and told her that if he d- didn't get to see it, she would end up dead in the trunk of a car. This was the threat that he told her at that time. And she said she told him, take it back. And he said, take what back? And then she said, I'm calling my lawyer and you're going to jail. And he said, I know where you are right now, right on Lexington. So she did get out of there, but she said that somebody stole the servers where the pictures were. They broke into the office and did that. So fortunately, the photographer had them on a disc and they were still able to do it. But she was just talking about her time period and even a situation where she went out with Kim Porter and Diddy showed up, didn't speak to anyone at the table, dumped Kim's bag upside down on the table and told her to get out of there, get home and take care of the kids. Mm. Ooh, everybody got their stories now. All right. Well, in the meantime, that is your UT. When we come back, let's talk to Ken the Man because she's in town. And by the way, ja- shout out to Jasmine Brand. As soon as she saw that you were going to be guest hosting, she texted me and said, I love Ken the Man. Aww. But everybody loves you. And so we're going to talk about that. But in the meantime, let's get into BDK. They know. You know this sample yeah. from Shardy Low. So uh, you want to intro it? Yeah, this BDK Ken the Man. You're... 